The Clan War League is a massive part of the game, however it is no secret that it has some massive problems that can make it almost unplayable. This makes the normal Clan Wars just more enjoyable for the most part and it really shouldn't be like that for an event that happens once a month. So today I just want to go over some of the biggest problems inside of the Clan War League and also how to fix those problems starting off with the matchmaking. The biggest problem in the Clan War League is the amount of mismatches that occur. What this means is that one clan is often a lot stronger than the other clan and this happens because the clan war league just doesn't use a good system for the matchmaking for clans. In regular clan wars, the game looks at how strong each individual clan is with the players participating in the war. It then tries to find another clan that's roughly about the same strength and this is what makes normal clan wars fair and fun. There definitely are mismatches in normal clan wars but that is way less common than in the clan war league. This matchmaking looks at various factors including town hall level and just the overall strength of the defenses and everything. However, the Clan War League doesn't do any of this. Matchmaking over there is only determined by the leagues that the clan is in and there's really nothing more to that. For example, you can have a clan full of town hall 16s go against a clan with 12s and 13s and this just doesn't make sense in any way possible. Even inside of just normal matchmaking for normal attacks, you are still paired up with people at a similar town hall level while also being in a similar league. This also is a bigger problem towards the lower leagues because you have some high level clans that purposefully stay in the lower leagues to try and find as many low level town halls as possible and we will talk more about this problem later in the video. But all of this just leads to a ton of problems that are just bad for the game. First of all, it just makes it feel kind of hopeless for clans that don't have town hall level 15s or 16s because that seems like the only way to guarantee that you aren't unfairly mismatched. This can just lead to certain members being left out of the league or just kick from the clan entirely and it is partly a reason why you will see clans with only one or two lower tunnel levels because other clans just wouldn't accept them. This also just separates the player base of people that take the game semi-seriously and that just shouldn't be happening. And I personally do know that the matchmaking for the clan world league has just led to some clans not participating in it or just participating every now and again and instead they just do the normal clan wars as those are more enjoyable due to them being much more fair. But why does the matchmaking even have to be like this? We don't have a concrete answer, however, in my opinion, I believe that it is because this is just easier and it may be too much to try and find 8 clans that are in the same league and at the same town hall levels for all the different clans participating. However, I don't actually know how true that is because they have already created good matchmaking systems for the normal attacks as well as the clan wars so I don't see how they can't just implement that into the clan war league and just add another parameter for the different leagues. But again, I have very little experience with game development so maybe I'm overlooking something major but I just really think that it should be fairly simple to fix a matchmaking problem. Simply just fixing the matchmaking will fix the biggest problem that the league has and I really do hope that Supercell can fix that soon as it has just been a problem for a very long time and it is just getting even worse now with the rise of rushing. It is pretty clear that the game is very offense focused right now so people just rush ahead and get stronger troops, heroes and hero equipment then they have a massive advantage in the game over the lower tunnel levels because even though their base isn't as progressed it is still good enough to defend from people that are a couple of town halls below you. This has led to people just rushing for the purpose of doing better in the clan board leagues and has also led to a bit of a problem with people having filler accounts. However, that is another problem that I will talk about later in the video. But first, let's talk about a separate problem with the clan board league and that is with the roster. The second big problem with the clan board league is that you can't change your roster once everything starts. In most clans, the clan leader will put only 15 or 30 players depending on the size of the war and after picking those players, there really is no changing them. This kind of makes sense, however, I think it causes more harm than good. First of all, if one of the members unexpectedly has to go during the middle, then that is just essentially a dead account that can't participate for the upcoming wars and you can't do anything about it as you can't add in any new players. This isn't really a problem with the normal clan wars since it is only one war and there isn't as big a risk as someone leaving midway through. The best solution that is available for this is just adding everyone in the clan to the roster just so you have backups 
but there's still the chance of there being a wasted attack because you can't change anything when you see that someone isn't attacking during battle day. This is something that rarely happens during the normal clan wars because there's the opt-in and opt-out feature that the clan leaders can check before every war, but that doesn't exist with a clan war league. But despite there being a really simple solution for this problem, most people just aren't aware or they just don't do it for their clan, which makes it a problem and is why I think clans should be allowed to swap out players and add to their roster even after the wars have started. However, to make sure this can't be abused, there should be some sort of limitations on the number of swaps that can be made for people not already on the roster or maybe make it so you can only swap the similar town hall level to make sure people can't just swap a town hall 6 with a 6 or something wild like that. But I do understand why this exists and the reason is honestly not that good. The reason this exists is to allow people to play in the clan war league and the normal clan wars at the same time. This is literally stated officially by Supercell on their site and I really don't know anyone who actually does this since I think the clan war league is enough to worry about let alone a whole nother war. The roster just exists so people can leave and join a clan and still be able to participate in the league. So overall there is a simple solution of just adding everyone to the roster however most people don't know about that so we either have to raise awareness or just make it so you can add people that weren't originally on the roster. But now let's talk about the next problem with the clan war league and that is with clans purposefully staying in lower leagues. This is something called intentional demotion and it is a fairly normal thing inside of the game and you see it mostly in the normal trophy leagues where people will drop trophies to either stay away from legends league or to just drop down in order to farm loot for more inactive bases. This is something that is completely normal and something a ton of players do but it's just different when it comes to the clan war leagues. As I mentioned earlier, the matchmaking is determined only by the leagues and at the lower leagues you are more likely to find lower level town halls. But you have some clans with higher level town halls that would just stay at the lower leagues in order to abuse the matchmaking to get easy attacks and to just kind of troll others and make it harder for them to get ahead. This is a really annoying thing because it makes no sense to purposely stay at the lower leagues However, you just have some people that do and normally these people use a bunch of filler accounts in their clan to make up the 15 player minimum. These filler accounts are also typically high level town halls and the whole purpose is to make it as hard as possible for the other clans to progress. This is just something that is really annoying and it can simply be fixed by just fixing the matchmaking system in the game. The matchmaking in the normal trophy leagues prevents this exact thing from happening as it shows people around your town hall level regardless of league unless you're like really high up or something. But it is mainly meant for protecting lower level town halls at the lower leagues and that is something that just doesn't work in the clan board leagues and it can be really frustrating. So overall, the clan world league just has some pretty big problems, with the main one being that the matchmaking is horrible and that just leads to a bunch of other problems like we have talked about. So I really think that Supercell needs to address this as it has been a problem in the game for a while and fixing it would just make the game much better because the clan world league is a big part of the game. But that is also it for this video, I really do hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one.